welcome back to each of my flip books. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I am a crime fiction, thriller, suspense, Nordic noir, those kind of books reader from the UK. And today I thought I'd do a slightly different video to the ones that I've done before. Um, basically I thought I would do a ranking video of basically ranking all of the Ragnar Jonasson books that I've read and tell you which ones are my favourite. So as a bit of background, Ragnar Jonasson is an Icelandic crime fiction author. He is possibly one of my favourite authors, definitely favourite author at the minute. And he has two book series and standalone books. He has a series set around Detective Ari Thor, which is called the Dark Iceland series. And then he has a series set around Detective Hulda Hermundotter, and that is the Hidden Iceland. Yes, Hidden Iceland. Checking my notes there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dark Iceland series, Hidden Iceland series, and then a couple of standalone books as well. So in total, 11 books have been published to date in the UK. The Ari Thor series, or the Dark Iceland series, has six books in it, and they are Snowblind, Blackout, Rupture, Whiteout, Nightblind, and Winterkill. Goodreads actually lists these books in the wrong order because they are all translated from the original Icelandic and at some point the numbering has been like messed up that there was a book published in Icelandic that then took longer to reach an English translation so the numbering is off on Goodreads and I think on Amazon as well but if you want to read them in the order that makes sense for the Ari Thor story it's Snowblind, Blackout, Rupture, Whiteout, Nightblind, Winterkill. The Hidden Iceland series, which is the Hulda Hermann's Daughter series, has three books in it and they are read in the order of The Darkness, The Island and The Mist. That Hidden Iceland trilogy is actually told in reverse chronological order. So starting with The Darkness is actually the end of Hulda's story. So you get the end of her career and then you go back into cases from earlier in her career which also seems to cause a little bit of confusion sometimes with like Goodreads and Amazon in terms of ordering because yeah it's told reverse chronological and then the books that are standalone we've got Outside which I will leave my review of linked up there somewhere and then we also have Girl Who Died. So yeah they're the books that have been published to date in the UK and I just thought I would do a what my ordering is of sort of which books I think is the best. So background done let's jump in with coming in at number 11 is The Darkness. So I want to start by saying that this is not a bad book. I do not think that there are any bad Ragnar Jonasson books but I did struggle to get into this book. Once I was in it, I really enjoyed it, but just that initial bit I slightly struggled with. I don't know if it's because at the point where I started reading this, I had basically been binge reading the Ari Thor series, and I don't know if I was just missing the Ari Thor character. Um, so I struggled a bit to get into this and to connect with other characters, but yeah, not sure. I still enjoyed the book, but I did rate it a 3 out of 5 stars, and that is actually the lowest rating I have for any Ragnar Jonasson book. Therefore, I figure it has to go at number 11 in my list. Next up at number 10 is Snowblind. Now, I don't actually know where my copy of Snowblind is, which leads me to think that I have lent it to my parents. I'm not sure, but I don't have my copy anyway. Um, this is the first of the Ari Thor books. It's a great book, but something needed to go at number 10, so I picked this one. Um, I did rate it 4 out of 5 stars though, so 4 out of 5 for Snowbind, but it's coming in at number 10. In at number 9 is Outside. I'm not going to go into great detail about this because there's an entire video about this book on this channel, which I've already said I will leave linked up there, but I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoy it but it's at number nine on my overall Ragnar Jonasson list. Coming in at number eight, and it's another four star read, it's The Island 
this is the second book in the Hulda Hermann's Daughter series and this is a really great character driven book. It's a classic lock room whodunit and it's a really enjoyable read. Again something has to come in at number eight so pick to this one. In at number seven is Night Blind. The start of this book left me literally just open mouth just going like oh what just happened? This does not happen in this little village. It was a really great read. Again, I rated it four out of five stars, but definitely recommend. And I think the strength of this book and it only coming in at number seven says how good I think Wagner Jonasson is as an author. Then at number six, we have the second standalone book, which is The Girl Who Died. Again, I rated this four stars, which on reflection, I think I was being harsh on my initial read through. And when I come to reread this book, I suspect I will put it up to five stars because it's a great mix of crime and supernatural and who done it? Did anyone do it? Like, I don't know. I, I just really enjoyed this book. This was actually one that I read last summer and I feel like it was perfect as a summer read. I know some people will be like, you read crime fiction as your summer. I read crime fiction for every season, uh, but yeah, sunbathing, <laughs> reading about the girl who died. Very much enjoyed it, and yeah, this was number six. So now we're moving on to the top five. At five, we have Blackout. This book is set in 2010 at the time of the Eyjafjallajökull Yugult eruption, and I just absolutely love it. I rated this book five stars because I think the setting of it and me actually remembering all the footage of the chaos from the eruptions on the TV mixed with how the book changes my opinions of certain characters. Um, I'd sort of had one way of thinking of some of the characters of Ari Thor and the supporting characters and this book changed my opinion on them so for that reason um, I rate it very highly and gave it five stars and yeah it's number five on the list. In at four is Rupture. This book has so many like weaving stories of cold cases and abductions and death and it doesn't do it in a rushed way like it's a 244 pages of book and each story is given time to breathe and all comes together really nicely and I just really enjoyed that it had so many twists and turns of different stories weaving its way through the story so very much enjoyed it. Once again gave it a five star um, as with the rest of these books but yeah this one comes in at number four. And now we're into the top three and in at three is Winterkill. This is the last book although I would really hope it's not actually the last of the Ari Thor series. Like, I would love more Ari Thor stories, please, Ragnar Jonasson. Uh, like, he ever is ever going to see this video, but you know, on the off chance, please write some more Ari Thor. <laughs> there isn't anything I can say about this without giving spoilers, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to say it's a really good read. I gave it five stars. You should check it out. It's number three on my list. And a quick change of my camera battery later, we're into the top two. So, drum roll. <laughs> That's me, the best I can do for a drum roll. I've clearly lost the plot. Um, in at number two is Whiteout. I am going to be completely honest. I have written this list out seven or eight times, and this book switches between being in first and second place. So, I, I can swing both ways on it. I think I'm finally happy saying that it's second in my ranking, but yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Second is white out. This is a completely masterful display of how to do time jumps in a book. I just think this book is perfect and obviously as I've said I've rated everything in my top five as five stars, but yeah, this is possibly say it switches between first and second but it's it is up there as one of the best books that I've ever read and I really enjoyed it which is why it's number two on my list and then coming in at number one is The Mist. This is 
the final in the trilogy of the Hulda Herman's Daughter series, but as I said, it's read in reverse, so it's like the first case of her career. I think this is why I flip flop with this being in first, is because it's part of the Hulda Herman's Daughter series, when I think the Ari Thor series are better overall, but there's just something about this particular book that is just, it's amazing. That, that's all I can think to describe it as, amazing. Really interesting characters, but also totally unlike anything else I had read at the time. Um, I just really, really enjoyed this book. So yeah, that's why it is number one on my list. As you can see, it has had quite a few rereads already because it's quite bashed up and will no doubt get a few more rereads because that is something that I really appreciate about the Ragnar Jonasson books is that I do enjoy rereading them. So perhaps I might have to start with a reread of the entire Ari Thor series once I can find out who's got snow blind. Or maybe I'll just inspire it again. So there you have it. That is my ranking of Ragnar Jonasson books. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any and do you agree with my rankings or you think I'm completely off and you've got a different idea of what should be number one. Like, just let me know down below. I did find it really hard to actually rank the books because with the exception of one book everything I read by Ragnar Jonasson has been rated a four or five stars out of five so there, I had to sort of really truly look for things that I could use as differentiators between them so yeah there's actually a much harder ranking list to put together than I thought it would be but there we go that's my favourite Ragnar Jonathan books in order. If you want to see more random videos about book hauls, book reviews, general bookish things, then hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!